How to install the ADS Topside Retrieval System. The Topside Retrieval System enables maintenance teams to remove and reinstall ADS Paradep and Paraflow sensors from street level. After the initial installation of the Topside Retrieval System, routine maintenance can be completed without descending the manhole. Manhole and sewer system work involves confined space entry and is inherently dangerous. Therefore, installers and technicians should comply with all federal, state, and municipal regulations concerning combined space entry. The ADS topside retrieval system includes the following components. The wall mount bracket, the sensor bracket, the topside retrieval tool, and either an ADS pair depth or pair flow sensor. Before going to the field to install the topside retrieval system, make sure you have the following parts and tools. Note, all wedge anchors, nuts, and washers must be stainless steel. Once on site and ensuring that you are following all required safety procedures, descend the manhole to install the wall mount bracket. Determine whether to install the wall mount bracket on the upstream or downstream wall. In manholes prone to surcharging, ADS recommends installing the bracket on the downstream side of the manhole. Make a mark one inch or 25 millimeters above the crown of the pipe and centered over the invert. The closer to the crown of the pipe, the better in manholes prone to surcharging. The lower tab of the wall mount bracket will be placed here. Using the hammer drill and a 3 8 inch masonry bit, drill a hole at the marked spot. Hammer the wedge anchor into place. Place the lower tab of the wall mount bracket on the wedge anchor and place a washer and nut on the anchor and finger tighten. Use the level to confirm that the bracket is level side to side. Drill a hole through the upper tab using the hammer drill and hammer wedge anchor into place. Place a washer and nut on the wedge anchor and finger tighten. Reconfirm that the wall mount bracket is level both side to side and front to back using the level. Once confirmed, tighten the nuts. The installation of the wall mount bracket is now complete. In situations where the manhole wall surface is inconsistent or uneven, run nuts onto the top and bottom wedge anchors, followed by washers before placing the bracket on the bolts. Adjust the nuts behind the bracket to more easily level the bracket front to back. The next step is to attach the Paradep or Paraflow sensor to the sensor bracket. Attach the sensor to the sensor bracket taking care to orient properly based on the position of the wall mount bracket. When the wall mount bracket is installed on the outgoing wall, which is recommended, orient the sensor to face the oncoming flow and thread the sensor cable through the notch on the non-loop side of the sensor bracket. Thread a cable tie through the hole below the notch and secure the cable. When the wall mount bracket is installed on the incoming manhole wall, with the sensor measuring the oncoming flow, thread the sensor cable through the notch on the loop end of the sensor bracket and cable tie the sensor cable to the bracket using the five holes along the edge of the sensor bracket. The loop on the sensor bracket has two positions, opened and closed. The loop must be in the open position when seating the sensor bracket with sensor attached onto the wall mount bracket. Once the sensor is attached and cable tied to the bracket, lock the sensor bracket into place by turning the sensor bracket loop clockwise. The sensor is now securely installed on the manhole wall. Once the sensor is positioned on the wall mount bracket, measure the physical offset of the sensor, the distance between the face or bottom of the sensor and the crown of the pipe. There are two methods of measuring this distance, directly or indirectly. It may be easier to measure the physical offset indirectly. To measure indirectly, measure the distance from the face of the sensor to the manhole invert below the front portion of the sensor and subtract the pipe height from this measured distance. Note the physical offset measurement. 
the physical offset will be input as a negative number when configuring the sensor in the ADS QStart XML software. The installation is almost complete. The last step is to secure the sensor cable. Let the sensor hang, ensuring the cable is relatively taut to reduce the potential for debris buildup during a surcharge event. Coil any extra sensor cable and cable tie it to a manhole rung or the monitor handle. The top side retrieval system installation is now complete.